Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here, with a video looking at the gadgets found in Battlefield 1. If you enjoy this video, please call your local pizza shop and ask for a pineapple and pelican pizza. When they say they don't serve pelican, go on a rant about how they are bigoted, xenophobic, anti pelimetic avian specie-hating elitists, as this really helps my channel to grow. First, let's take a look at what the Scout class has to offer. The Spotting Flare, which is hands down the most effective gadget for Scouts, reveals enemies' locations on the minimap, providing a desirable tactical advantage. Or you could choose to use the inferior Flare Gun Flash option, which shoots burning projectiles that blinds players and can be used incredibly effectively to piss off my friend Stealtho Simo. If you enjoy camping in buildings, perhaps you could make someone hate you by placing tripwire bombs at the doorway. If you like lying down for ages, the Sniper Shield provides that Durex-worthy protection, K-Bullets are a great choice if pestering tanks gets you off, or perhaps you could use the overpowered and extremely lifelike Sniper Decoy, which fools enemy players into thinking a stick with a head on it is actually a slender soldier. In all seriousness though, the Sniper Decoy is going to help you out about as much as the casting couch guy helps girls secure roles in adult acting. There is also the Trench Periscope, which when used to spot enemies, allows your entire team to see them through solid surfaces. I like to call this bad boy the I Spy Nice Guy because, you know, you're really helping out by spying and spotting enemies, but it's so fucking boring to use that you really have to be a nice person to even bother. The next class is Assault. The main intentions for the Assault class gadgets are to destroy vehicles. This becomes overwhelmingly apparent when we look at the names. Anti-tank mines, anti-tank grenades, anti-tank rocket gun, and well, dynamite. The really cool thing is, players always step up and work together and seek to destroy vehicles with their arsenal of anti-armor explosives. Lol, fucking kidding, obviously we all just use these high explosives to try and get dank multi-kills on groups of enemy infantry. Everyone has an expectation that medics should both revive and heal, which means in order to be ethical, they will have the medical syringe for their first gadget and a medical crate slash pouch for their second slot. This basically means that rifle grenades don't often see the light of day. They are kind of like that porno magazine from 2006 that you keep under your mattress in case the internet ever goes down. Also, they are pretty frowned upon because if you are using a rifle grenade, people know you are not being a good medic and they instantly fucking hate you. If you do decide to be a rebel, the rifle grenade offers good anti-infantry and vehicle options as well as a rocket propelled smoke grenade. I really tried to think how I could use these effectively. I kind of had a vision of firing these smoke grenades at objectives and establishing a strategic smoke screen to mask the enemy's line of sight. After some experimentation, I found that their absolute best use is to continue annoying my good buddy Stealtho Simo. Finally, let's have a look at the support class. Every good support player should give out ammunition like they just don't care. Therefore, equipping either an ammo crate or an ammo pouch is crucial in becoming part of the bro fist army. Maybe that's what I should start doing, just blatantly leech off other YouTubers content. On that note, I have a guest star here. He is one of my favourite YouTubers and you will have probably heard of him, the legend himself, Jack Frags. Hiya Jack, what games have you been playing lately mate? Battlefield 1, Fortnite, and Far Cry 5. Wow, that's cool. Hey, when you were saying that the vegetables in your vegetable garden were at an early stage the other day, did you mean it? When I said they were at an early stage, I meant it. I can't wait to see what they look like when they're fully grown. What did you end up calling your new pet kitten? Achibaba. Jeez, what a great name for a cat. Anyway, thanks for stopping by, Jack. It's an honour to have a Battlefield 1 legend like yourself in the video. Anyway, the support class offers a repair tool for those of you who want to repair vehicles and stationary weapons. There are crossbow launchers that are perfect for clearing out bunkers with a medieval vibe, mortars that are great for getting hit markers, and the limpet charge. The limpet charge is probably one of the most enjoyable gadgets to use in the game. There is something so satisfying about sticking an exploding frisbee on the side of a house and becoming a literal home wrecker. 
let me know in the comments below which is your all-time favourite gadget to use in Battlefield 1. Also remember, the next time you are feeling guilty about spending a lot of time playing video games, or you know, perhaps your girlfriend, roommate or mother is nagging you about it, just gently remind them that you are not addicted to crystal meth, so relative to gaming, you actually have everything well in check. All you're guilty of is quickscoping cunts, breaking controllers, telling people you don't know to fuck off and having one flipping heck of a jolly joking good time with your best dang friends. That's it from me, until next time, and as always, stay classy.